All right, so the first part of, of, of this, if you wanna record, if you wanna take a, an image that's on your 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus, and then save it onto an actual floppy drive. This is the method that I have come up with, and I guess it's the way, you, <laughs> I don't know of another way of doing this, so. <laughs> what you do is you take, normally you have the output of your 1541 Plus, and it plugs directly into your interface port on the back of the Commodore 64, and they pro I actually purchased this short little cable just because you only need it from here to here, like a six, six inches cable. Well for this purpose it's too short so I pulled out a, a spare cable I had and what I did with that cable if you follow it along here let's kind of pull it out so it's going into the interface port right here on the back of the 1541 uh, drive and then from the serial port, that cable is the one that plugs in the back on the Commodore right here. So you have the output from the, uh, the Commodore 64 Ultimate 2 Plus it goes into the interface port right here. And then from here, the serial port goes to the back of your Commodore 64. Now, one thing to note, and I'll show this on the video, your 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus has to either be drive ID 8 or drive ID 9. I think by default it's 8. Mine is set to 8, and you'll see that on the little uh, video clip I'll show. Now on the device here, on the back, you have some dip switches here. Um, it's an up down on the left and an up down on the right. For for this to be device ID 8, you want uh, both of these to be in the up position. If the left side is down and the right side is up, that's device ID 9. And that's what I want, that's what it's set to now. So left is down and the right is up. And so this is device ID um, 9, while the 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus is device ID 8. So now that way I can use two disk drives. So this is uh, disk drive 8 and this is disk drive 9. If the left side is up and the right side is down, then that's device ID 10. And if both switches are down, that's device ID 11. But for, for this example, we only need device ID 9 and device ID 8. This, this um, little tape drive, or floppy disk drive, is, is a really nice drive and it match it used to match the color scheme with this until I swapped out this case with the uh, Kickstarter with the Kickstarter replacement case but this is a really nice uh, disk drive and so that is how I plan to do it so essentially the 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 process is you load you load an image here you mount an image on your 1541 2 plus then you load you load the um, image into into memory with the load command. You take a disk, which I've bought some new old stock uh, disks here, and I'm planning. Uh, what you ideally you'll want to format all of these uh, in advance, but uh, I haven't formatted them yet. So you'll take the disk, you'll throw it in, you'll you'll use a, a command, and the command to format the the floppy disk is is the open 15 comma device number comma 15 so if your device is 8 it's 15 comma 8 comma 15 and then comma quote n0 colon and then the name you're going to call give the disk and then comma 01 quote colon close 15 and i got that off of the uh, lemon 64 website and so i'll put that link in the notes. After the disk is formatted, you can do a load quote dollar sign quote comma eight, which gives you the contents of the disk. And then you can what you have to do is load the load the mounted image that you want to save. And then just and then once you do that you say save the image name 
save quote the name that you want to put on the on the on the disk end quote comma nine for this device you do a comma nine and uh, I'll try to demonstrate that as I go so that's how you take an image that's on your ultimate two plus and convert it to physical uh, disk media like in the old school days and, and the reason why I was doing that is because I am I need to do 10 of these because I'm going to be handing these out at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I'm going to be handing some of these out. So what I'm doing now is I'm going into the menu on the 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus. And from here you can select, you hit Shift F1. And, and from there that allows you to go into the 1541 Drive A settings. And so you can change the drive bus ID. You can switch it from 8 to, to 9 if you, only, if you don't have the dip switches on your, your disk drive. But I'm going to leave it set to 8 here for this example. And, um, and then I'm going to switch back and then load the image for a GPAC. So loading the image, I have to go in, um, page down to the image, and then mount the image by hitting enter on it. And then from there I can get a disk directory by load quote dollar quote comma eight and then doing a list command. So L shift I is a list and this is what the image looks like once it's mounted and then from here we can load the game into memory. Load asterisk quote asterisk quote comma eight comma one. Now that the game's loaded into memory, uh, I've decided to go ahead and format the blank diskette that I've thrown into disk drive two. And you do that with this command, open 15 comma nine comma 15, comma quote n zero colon, and then the name of the disk, comma zero one quote colon close 15. And that's the actual sound of the disk drive, as opposed to a, a, an emulated sound effect. And so right here, it's formatting the disk. And then once the disk is formatted, you can save the game that's already loaded into memory by using the save command. And I did a list first to show that the program's loaded in memory, and then we can do save, quote, and I'm just going with GPAC DD, quote, comma eight, I'm sorry, comma nine. Okay, so now the game is saved to disk. And the next step is to s confirm that it, that it properly saved is to load, load the directory again and then list. And then I, all I wanted to do from here was load the game over, load it back into memory from the disk, load quote asterisk quote and here I made a mistake. I put comma eight comma one, which it loads from the Commodore cartridge. I'm the ultimate 1541 two plus cartridge. And I realized my mistake and I hit run stop. And then I retype the command load quote asterisk quote comma nine comma one, which should load it from the disk drive two. And now that the game's loaded, I'm just gonna run the, the game just to make sure it's, it worked. Just for a few seconds.
So, all right. Thanks for watching.